every now and then I'll get a video that goes slightly viral and gets a few hundred thousand views and that's incredible. When I post my normal videos and I've got a boat and I'm out and about on the canal there's a few thousand people who are happy to tune in and watch on a regular basis and then in times like this where I haven't got a boat and I'm just out posting goodness knows what that I think might be slightly interesting for people there's a core group of a few hundred people who seem to genuinely want to tune in and see what I've got to say. I'm not going to pretend that I know why anybody wants to tune in and listen to me. I'll leave that to decide amongst yourselves. But I do want to just make it absolutely clear and say a very direct thank you to all of this core group of a few hundred people who always seem to tune in, as it really does mean a lot and there's certainly people whose names pop up as comment notifications on my phone that I have a little smile to myself and think, oh great, they're still tuning in, that's brilliant. I'm getting dripped on by the trees here. Um, and yeah, I just really wanted to have a very brief little chat and just make sure that I've got it on camera and on record that I really am truly grateful for these people who tune in all the time. And also, I just want to make it clear that I know fully and I'm well aware and understand that the videos I'm posting now of just general being out and about in the countryside and stuff, these are not things that I'm expecting to be mass market appeal. We've got a slight flood situation going on. Uh, uh, wet feet is wet feet. <laughs> um, so, oh, as I've said many times in the past when I had me boats and viewership's at the absolute peak, that because I've done this long since you could ever make money or long before you could ever make money from YouTube, it's not something inherently inbuilt to me that I do YouTube to make money or I do YouTube to be popular because those are things that just simply were like distant pipe dreams when I first started doing all this sort of stuff. And I've said many times before that if I only had 10 views per video, I would still be out here posting videos. And I hope that I'm illustrating that, that I do just love videos and that. It's great when you have viral stuff and popular stuff, and it makes a, I don't know, a few hundred quid if you're lucky on a video. And it's also great to just do a video and put it out and be like, oh yeah. I mean, for example, when I'm posting videos comparing types of backpack, I don't expect that to get a massive audience. That's a very niche thing that I'm doing just because I'm a bit of a nerd and I love the outdoors. And so things like backpack comparisons are right up my street. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. I know that I could go out and buy a cheap boat and run around pumping out videos of boat life and all the rest of it. And I could almost certainly make that boat pay for itself and then some, as long as I hadn't spent too much on it. And uh, just dodge another huge puddle here been a very wet summer over the last portion of it at least but the idea of going out and doing that for the sake of it and for the sake of turning my entire life into some sort of money-making ruse simply doesn't appeal it's uh well let's again let's be honest it's <coughs> hang on i need to just get through this first <laughs> as i was saying if I'm being completely honest, there were moments, especially when I bought the second boat, where I did briefly for a month here and a month there, tap into that idea of content as lifestyle and lifestyle as content, where I was pumping out these 30 minute long videos and things like that, that were just constantly coming multiple times a week. And it's just not a satisfying way to live, to be constantly thinking in the back of your mind, oh, get that on YouTube, oh, get that on camera. And then you're going out and having days with your family and things like that. And it's like, oh, wow, look at that. That'd be a great bit of footage. It's the constant interruption and it's just unsatisfying. And I think there's some people certainly out there who have let it derail their lives and destroy and sort of interfere with their real life relationships with people who are actually important. In return, they've been getting views from tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands, maybe more of people who ultimately don't know them, will never meet them and couldn't care less once they've clicked off that video. And you know what? That exact reason is why the few hundred of you who will be tuning into this video and actually watching it through to this point are significant and important. And I feel like I've got a direct connection to you because you've actively taken an interest for whatever reason. And so, again i just wanted to take a moment to say thank you very much and i do appreciate it 
I do appreciate that I'm probably not posting the sort of videos that you want all the time anymore and I do apologise that I haven't magicked up another boat yet. I was hoping to really do a sort of shock reveal and just suddenly start a video as if nothing had ever changed while I was already on a boat but again foolish move selling just before the summer rush and then uh, well being amongst all the other people who want to buy a boat while the weather's good although the weather's now no longer good <laughs> admittedly but yeah thank you so much my friends it really does mean a lot and I love the fact there's people who actually seem to care and thank you for the messages thank you for the comments thank you for everything and again another thing thank you to the people out there who have read my books or even just read one of my books or even just read some of my books as part of a free kindle promotion it's amazing and I could never ask really anything more of you than for you to actually spend your time and spend moments of your life with me in written or video form so thank you so much uh, yeah I think that's uh, about enough I've turned around because it's so wet and now I've reached this really wet uh, part of the path again <laughs> so on that note I will say thank you so much for tuning in my friends I hope that you've enjoyed this completely and utterly random nonsensical ramble and thank you. Until the next time my friends, if you're really curious and want to help me out please do consider checking out my short boat life books available for the Kindle and there's even one as an audio book and of course the big paperback which is a volume collection. I'm making a terrible terrible mess of this because I'm looking at these puddles coming up but yeah links in the description as always. Have a fantastic day, keep it interesting, keep it boat worthy, and of course my friends, farewell. <laughs>